this is our time with Camp Good News. I'm Deanna, and today I'm going to teach you how to draw a cartoon butterfly. And it's going to look something like this. For this project, you're going to need a black marker and a pencil. The pencil is in case you make any mistakes or need to make any changes. And the black marker is just so that you can outline it and see it better. And then you'll also need a blank sheet of paper. Before we begin, I'd like to share with you a verse from the Bible, and it is from Proverbs 3, 5, and it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. Often, we try to fix problems in our life with our own knowledge and understanding, and our own strength. But since we are sinners, those things are all limited. But God, He is not limited. He knows everything and he knows everything about us. He knows our strengths and our weaknesses and he wants us to go to him when we need help because he wants and knows what's best for us. Okay, so as you can see, I already outlined what the project's gonna be. I'm gonna use my black marker and I'm gonna outline it so that you can see it better and so I can show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna first start with the butterfly, and I'm gonna start with her head. And her head is kind of ovalish. So I'm gonna start from over here. I'm gonna go this way, like this. Here's my odd oval. <laughs> not completely an oval, not completely a circle. Now I'm going to draw her antennas. And they're going to start from her forehead, and they're just going to go up and curve down. And you can make them as twisty and any, any way you want. I'm going to do her other one. Now I'm going to draw her eyes, and they're kind of like an upside down smile. We're going to curve down like this. And then we're going to make two little curves up like this. For her eyelashes. And then we're also going to do that on the other side. Like that. Now I'm going to make her eyebrows here. They're just little curves down too, like this. And now we're going to make her mouth, and it's going to be curving upwards this time, like this. And then we're going to add these little lines on the side, like that. And we're gonna add another little curve for her chin. That's gonna be a little bit under her mouth like that. Now I'm gonna draw her body. And it's going to be starting from her head like this. We're gonna go down like this. And we're gonna make a round end. And we're gonna curve back up like that. And then I'm going to make the stripes on her body, and they're just going to be lines, and you can even do it as many as you want. Like that. And now I'm going to make these lines that loop, and this is just going to be like the pattern she flew in, she like, as if she was flying in a loop-de-loop. -loop. So I'm going to start from behind her, and go like this, and draw some lines, and I'm going to start going up like this and curve around so it's as if she's doing a loop in the air. Like that. Now I'm gonna draw her little arms and they're just gonna be from about right here and we're gonna draw a line down and give her three little fingers at the end like that. And then her other arm is gonna start on the side of her body like this and go down and then three little fingers. We're going to do the same thing with her little legs, but they're going to be a little circle at the bottom like this. Look at her feet. Now we're going to draw her wings. I'm going to start with the one that's above her head. These are her two wings, but you can't really see it. The other one because it's behind her. So I'm going to start with a half circle attached to her head like this. It's actually behind her, it's not really attached to her head. And then I'm going to make another one inside of it, close to the edge, but not too close, like that. 
And I'm actually gonna do that same similar thing over here for her other wing, but it's gonna be bigger and it's gonna attach to her back on the other end, here, like that. I'm gonna do another one in the inside. Like that. And now for her bottom wing, I'm gonna start from where this wing ended, and I'm gonna go out like this, curve around, and come back to the body over here. Like that. And then I'm also gonna do another one. Like that. Okay. For the inside of your butterfly, you can decorate it however you want. I'm gonna show you how to decorate it with loops. So I'm just gonna make a bump here and attach it to the body. I'm gonna go back up that line and then make another bump. And then to keep adding, I'm gonna start over here, a little away from the other bump, and make one and attach it to that. And then another one. And I'm just gonna add a circle at the end of the wing like that. Now I'm gonna move to the other ones. I'm gonna do the same thing, but on these. So I'm gonna make a bump and go down as far as I can. Make a bump and go down as far as I can. And then make another bump. And I'm just gonna add another layer like this. Another layer. And then at the top of her wing, I'm gonna put a heart and you don't have to do that. You can decorate it the way you want. And I'm gonna put two circles like this. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this wing. The exact same thing over here, but over here. I'm gonna make a hump and go down as far as I can. Another bump, and another bump. And then another, and another, and another. And then one more layer, like that. And when we're done, you can even make these like into rainbow wings because of the different layers. It's totally up to you. And I'm gonna add the heart and the two circles at the top again. And there you go, your butterfly's done. I'm gonna add a flower at the bottom, so I'm gonna draw a circle oh, right here. And I'm just gonna make round petals that are attached like this. I'm gonna make a bunch of these. I'm just gonna keep moving it around like this. I like big ovals that are attached to a, a circle. Like that, keep going. Doesn't matter how many you have as many as you want. And then I'm going to do some in between those ones. Like this. So it's like there's petals behind the petals. Like this. Got to keep rotating. Okay. And the head of the flower is done. And now I'm going to make a stem. Go down and attach it to this corner here because the stem is like behind the petals attaching to the middle. And then I'm gonna, at the bottom, I'm gonna make these leaves like that. Little leaves. You can make them as big as you want. Some flowers have little leaves, some flowers have small leaves. This is your creation, so you can make it however you want. And there you go. And now, if you want, you can color it in make it all sorts of different colors, and you're done. Well, thank you for joining us today. Remember, if you have any problems or any concerns, you can always go to God in prayer and ask God for help, because he knows everything about you, and he really loves you and wants to help you. Well, if you have any comments or questions, you can drop them in the comment box, or if you have any art ideas, you can also drop them there. Thank you for joining us.